My mom and dad have always taken us to church growing up. That was just what we did. We, we went to church on Sundays, serving the church and being part of the church community. That was just something they, that we did as a family. And so I always respected the way that my parents just led by example. When I was 21, my, my mom passed away of cancer. That shocked feeling definitely turned into anger and frustration really fast. It was kind of like at that point where I, I kind of drew a line in my faith. It was either going to be God and I were going to sit down and talk about my frustrations and angers, or one day when we met, it was going to be ugly for one of the two of us. God just, he worked away at me, taught like a little bit at a time. And, you know, together we got through it and my faith is so much stronger because of it. Looking back now, I, I know that God was with me and my family during that time. I know that he felt that pain just like we did. God did his very best, I know, to keep us all sane and, and to humble us through that. Naturally, I'm very headstrong and I, I always get carried away in the me things in life, which is why I think I became a teacher. It's been really hard as an adult to see that not every child has the same upbringing that I did. Not every child has the same opportunities that I did. Not every family loves the way that my parents did. Not every family loves the way our church does. I think being a teacher, I have those humbling moments all the time where like I could easily just be like, come on kid, like are you for real? You're freaking out because she broke up with you or are you freaking out because your project looks awful? God has given me an opportunity to help those children and to, to be the voice that, that shows them love and just to, to be there for them and help them throughout their situation. God didn't just preach. He sent his son and gave us his son to learn from. And I think it's only natural that we do the same in that we help out the next generation. We are their role models. We're their caregivers. We, we help them through their hardships. We, we lead by example. Being a teacher has given me an opportunity to give all of myself to others. God has He's really humbled my life and refocused my life on serving and giving back. And so just knowing that God is loving and He's patient and that He's willing to grow with me has kind of been the foundation of my life. And that's kind of been the way that I like to help others is to be patient and loving and grow with them. Being part of the church and giving of our time and finances and being part of building the church and the community and serving the community. God has opened my eyes to, to what the world has to offer and there's so much more that He can offer than I could ever offer myself.